YouTube, welcome back to the next episode of the Sims 4 Joy of Life Challenge. We are back today with episode 10, I believe we're on. We're officially on double digits today. And I have so many things planned for today's episode and I'm really excited for you guys to see everything that I've got, you know, scheduled in. But you guys might also see some messages down below right here. These are from our friends over on Twitch, which if you guys wanna come and join this series live, I actually stream it over there. Um, I stream four times a week. So if you wanna go click on the link in the description, you can get a link to my Twitch channel, come and join the series live and catch up on it. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna go ahead and follow me on any of my other socials, I post on Twitter, I also post on TikTok, and um, that's pretty much just it. So follow me on those if you fancy it. <laughs> right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first things first, um, in the last episode, I didn't get a chance to introduce you guys to Emiliano's brother, who we currently have not met yet, but Emilio does actually have a brother. His name is Enzo, and this is what he looks like right here. Um, him and Emiliano, they're not really that close because Enzo, he got shipped off to military um, quite young. Enzo went through a really rebellious stage. And obviously you guys will know that Emiliano's parents, they're really rich, uh, Carolina and Bernard. So they're like really, really well off. They're quite like relevant in the community. And Enzo was putting a like dampener, you know, on their image. So Enzo got shipped off to uh, military school quite young and then he's now in the military, but he's just come back from serving. So we're gonna get a chance to meet him today. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna do like a little family dinner or something, bring the kiddos over there. And then uh, we are actually gonna be going on a holiday. I'm really excited. Emiliano's got something really excited planned for Neve. Neve knows they're going away, but um, doesn't know exactly like where they're going. She doesn't know like the details of it. Emiliano's just said, you need to like pack a you know, swimming costume, pack some nice clothes, pack some nice dresses. Um, we're going away. She doesn't know where, she doesn't know what Emiliano's got planned yet. So it's very exciting. She does know that they're leaving the kiddos behind and um, Emiliano's uh, mum and dad are gonna look after them. So we've got baby sisters for the babies, but they need a little, you know, family time out. So we're gonna have them do that. <laughs> so we are gonna go and schedule a little family dinner and get everybody introduced and have a nice little, yeah, have a nice little get together. So we're gonna bring um, Neve, Bernard, um, Carolina and Enzo. We're not gonna bring the babies. We're gonna leave the babies at home um, because we wanna go out for dinner and I don't actually, know, I, they're not like old enough to be able to sit at high chairs yet. So um, we'll, we'll just go to the diner without them. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so we're gonna go to um, the restaurant that is just over the other side of town. We're gonna go there with the whole family and have a nice little bit of lunch together and uh, actually get a chance to meet Enzo. <laughs> Why do I feel like Enzo will try to seduce Neve just to test her loyalty towards his brother? Don't. You're actually gonna plan something here, I swear. <laughs> so this is Enzo. This is Emiliano's brother, full brother, not half or anything. Um, but as I said, he was a bit rebellious, especially as a teenager growing up. He got into like drugs and like getting in criminal business and things, you know, like getting like, he wasn't actually charged with anything, but he was getting in a bit of trouble. So uh, Bernard and Carolina agreed to ship him off to military school. So he went off to like training and things. And then obviously after, now that he's a young adult, he is also in the military as well. So he's, he's not even um, too, doing too bad. He's quite high up as well. So yeah, he's, um, he's pretty, Pretty fine if we do say so ourselves, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves some food and then we'll get Neve introduced to Enzo in a second as well. I'm gonna have Neve go and give him a friendly introduction and I'm gonna see how that goes. He's already flirty. How is he? Is it because of Neve? There's no freaking way he's flirty. Oh my God, there's no way. Right, okay, so she kind of likes him. She actually thinks he's really funny and that he's also really emotionally expressive. She also thinks he's extremely attractive. Um, but he does he does kind of get the impression that Neve's a little annoying. You know what? He might think that she's a little annoying, but honestly, I kind of want to know if he thinks she's attractive. Like, I wish I could find that out. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna have Emiliano order some food though for everybody so we can get get going on lunch. All right, let's go for let's go for wine for Bernard and Carolina. We'll go for a Pinot for Neve. And we will go for the uh, barley wine ale for both the boys. And then we will grab um, lunch. Uh, should we grab appetizers or should we grab... Yeah, let's do appetizers. 
Um, I'll just buy like each one of them, you know, something on the line. <laughs> we'll just go through and buy them all something. There we go. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have um, Neve be nice since she doesn't get any sort of bad vibes about him. She actually quite likes him. So I'm gonna have her go and make small talk with him and like ask him about his job, like ask him what he does, you know, just be friendly. Um, I want her to, you know, not go too overboard, but also it's the first time meeting him. So um, I just wanna know him a little bit. So she learned that he is a Sergeant Major at Strangerville National Base. Oh, she learned that he's a bit of a goofball. So she's actually thinking that he's quite funny. Oh yeah, that was her first impression actually. She thinks, wow, this guy's got a striking sense of humor. All right, let me have her be funny with him. And um, we'll have them, um, we'll have them tell a gross joke with each other. He's so flirty. Oh my God, look at the way they're looking at each other. Please guys, don't get it twisted, please. We're about to go on a, on a holiday, okay? All right, I'm gonna have Neve move on and start talking to other people because this might just get a little like awkward. Oh, Emiliano said, I, I think it's made us closer than ever now that we're going out for family dinners and things and like getting to know all of our family. That is so cute. I love them. All right, food's here. Let, let's go dig in. Let's go eat quick, quick. Let's get out of here before something happens that shouldn't be happening. Um, Let's see how Emiliano and Enzo get on. I'm gonna have them go and ask him about his day. Obviously, Emiliano is always very nice to his brother. Again, Emiliano is just like kind of the golden child in the family. So I'm gonna have him support Enzo's facial hair and say, wow, I didn't realize you were allowed to grow, you know, a full grown beard in the military. I thought you had to be cleanly shaven. It looks so good on you though. Oh my God, he's still feeling very flirty. What? There's no freaking way though. Enzo is so crushing on her. I, it's so obvious though. It is so obvious. All right, I'm gonna go back to talking to Enzo a little bit. Um, let's go be friendly. I wanna like, you know, discuss things with him. I'm gonna ask if he has any children of his own because she doesn't really know much about Enzo. Emiliano doesn't really talk about his brother much. So it's kind of interesting to find that out a little bit. He said he doesn't have any children. Okay. Okay, the two brothers are laughing with each other. Emiliano can't stop laughing. That joke Enzo just told him was way too good. Is this Enzo, like, is he trying really hard in front of uh, Neve? I kind of want him to say no, right? And I kind of want him to be annoyed over this, over the fact that he's clearly trying so hard in front of like his girl. I kind of want to go for no, purely because like, I feel like he'd be a bit jealous. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say he didn't like it. <laughs> Let's go in with some interest. I'm gonna, like, I don't think they have any interests, like, in relation, but I'll have them discuss their interests anyways. Jokes, AKA Emiliano trying to pass off Enzo's flirts as jokes, right? He's like, haha, that's really good. Glad we can, glad we can joke like that in, in front of my, you know, Future woman, by the way. You know what? I'm gonna have Emiliano talk up Neve and be like, yeah, this is my girlfriend, Neve. She is just, you know, she's really good. Um, she's amazing. You know, we've got kids together. I kind of want him to make it like really clear. And Neve's like, oh, don't be so sweet. You know, like, she's like, don't flatter me. Wow, Emiliano, I wasn't aware that you felt so strongly about Neve. She seems like good company and I'll chat with her soon. Why did he say it like that though? I let optimism get the best of me, Emiliano. Neve and I hold our actions to different standards. I don't see a way to work around that. Wait, what? What now? Okay, does this or does this not seem right, guys? Let's just evaluate the situation. Emiliano goes and says about, oh, this is Neve, my girlfriend. We've got kids together, blah, 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 you know? And then Enzo all of a sudden is like, oh yeah, like, um, you know, we don't really get on that well, blah, blah, blah. Why did he switch up so damn quick after Emiliano like kind of solidified his standpoint? Why is that the case? Why is that like that? Hmm? All right, I'm gonna go order some more food. Let's go get our dinner now. We will do it in order, like down the line, you know? We will do it like this. Here we go. Why is it suddenly really awkward down here though? Same wavelength, when, when Nee feels close to someone, it's safe to show off her silly side. Time to bring back the inside jokes and funny stories from the past. She kind of really likes Enzo. I think she's enjoying the jokes with Enzo. 
Okay, I'm going to have her um, tell him a funny story then. Okay. Oh my God, he's back to feeling flirty again. Oh no. He is trying so hard to hate her, but he can't. How could you hate Neves? She's like the sweetest thing ever. You know what? I'm going to go based off of um, Neves' wants and we'll see what she wants to do. And then I'll go based off of those. I'm going to have her discuss some flavors with uh, Carolina, baby baking and things. <gasps> Emiliano has enjoyed spending time with family recently. It's become very important for him to bond with his family. Should he embrace that he is family oriented? Yes. Oh, what a cutie. I love that. Aww. Look at him being a daddy and then realizing how much he, he loves this. All right. Let's go ahead and end and pay for the meal. Here we go. Thank you. Thanks everyone for coming. Um, we're gonna go and um, can I take the drink with me? I'm taking it home, right? Yeah, we're taking that drink home. Okay, I'm gonna have a go and uh, give Emiliano, you know, a kiss and um, just say, oh, your brother was nice. Um, yeah, it was really funny. He was, he was nice. <laughs> Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting to be that passionate. <laughs> she was thinking, "Oh, you look sad." Okay, let me make you happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, luckily Enzo didn't flirt the entire time with Neve. He was being very funny with her, but there was no actual flirting. So, yeah. Okay, we are back in the home. Where are the bubbas? They are just currently sitting and chilling. Um, right. We are going to uh, go and get a little bit of sleep. And then we are gonna be going on holiday, guys. I'm very excited. So let's go and get the babies back in their cribs. And then um, at about four o'clock in the morning, we are gonna be getting up and getting on our flight to, uh, we're gonna be getting on our flight to Solani. And I'm very excited. Though Neve doesn't know she's going to Solani. They just know that she's going somewhere hot. That's all she knows. All right. Um, so we have a flight at about four or 5 a.m. So I'm going to have the guys go and get some sleep before their flight. And then we are going to be heading on off on holiday very, very soon. So let's go get that done. Good riddance, babies. I mean, I hate to say it, but also, yeah. Goodbye, kids. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to have to do a little cheating cheating, but you guys will understand in a hot second why I'm doing it. So I'm going to go and give the family... I believe I'm going to give them 5,000 smoleons added on. Okay. But you guys will understand in a second. Um, so I'm at 2,347 smoleons. So I need to recess it once I, you know, do this. But I'm going to give them 5k just for the time being. And then Miliana is going to go onto the phone and we are going to take a vacation. And we're not bringing Charlotte or Reese. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's just me and Eve. <laughs> okay. So, guys, we are going on holiday to Sulani and this is all the renovations that I've done. Can you guys see all this? <laughs> Can you see all of the custom lots that I've added in? I've also like renovated most of the custom lots as well. So we are heading to the DeLuca family villa. Now the reason that we're not paying for this holiday is because this is actually Emiliano's parents' villa. They own this. Um, and they're f it's in their family. So they don't need to pay to go there. Obviously, they're allowed to go there for free. Um, so they'll have to pay for all their food and everything while they're there. But they don't have to pay for any... Um, yeah, they don't have to pay for anything else. So it costs... It's supposed to cost 4,837 smolians per day. Um, and we're going to rent it just for a day so far. Um, and then I'll extend it when we're actually there. We'll probably go for two days. So let's go. <laughs> The weather is um the weather is unfortunate considering we just got here. It is like overcast. But this is uh Emiliano's family villa. <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful, let me tell you. And honestly, there are so many things that we can get up to in this um in this villa. So many things. There's so many different, like, you know, different things to to have a look at. So I will give you guys a little tour. You know what? Should I make it sunny? You know, no one's no one's gonna no one's gonna care, right? Right, guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got a bit of sun. Right, so here is the very very top floor, and on the top floor we not only have massage chairs, so we can come and get massages. We can get you know manicures or pedicures. Um, we can hire somebody to come and do our massages here. We also have massage beds, so that we can get beautiful massages on the top of our villa. And then up here we've got a little seating area where we can come and relax, and you know get up to 
mischief on the top of the villa. Uh, down here, we have some more sun lounges. We also have a little bar. And we also have somewhere to do some yoga. Here we can hire a yoga instructor to come and um, teach us some yoga. So I was thinking one of the days while we're staying here, we could have a yoga instructor come and teach Neve and Emiliano to do some yoga. It'd probably be really cute for them to do that. And we also have a little um, hot tub over here in the corner as well. And then, oh, okay, hold on. If we go down a level, we have the library. This is what the library looks like. It's absolutely stunning. And we can just sit in here and get some books and um, yeah, do a little bit of reading. I'm sure Neve would like this to so just sit and relax, you know, do a little bit of reading over here. Um, yeah, you might also notice some little like kids toys around this villa, by the way, guys, because um, since this is the DeLuca's family villa, this is actually where Emiliano and Enzo used to go growing up as kids. So there's all their like toys and their bedrooms that are still decorated for them as kids. And I thought it'd be really cute when the twins are old enough to bring them on holiday with us and for them to stay in the same rooms that um, Emiliano stayed in. Okay, so this is uh, one of the bedrooms. This is, um, this would have been Enzo and Emiliano's old uh, bedroom when they were kids. This is what it's looking like. It's very, very cute. You know, dollhouse, like place to do their homework and everything. A little chess table in here. And then we've also got a little outside area where we can sit in the sun. Um, and there's also some area, like an area where we can swing as well. Obviously they used to use this when they were kids. We've got a chess table so we can, um, you know, play chess overlooking the water whilst also getting ourselves a drink because this is a bar as well. And over here is also uh, the kids' old room. As you can see, the kids were like absolutely doted on by their parents, Emiliano and Enzo as kids. So they literally have so many rooms in the house dedicated to like their playrooms and things. Um, and then over to the left is actually um, Emiliano and Neve's bedroom. And this is where they're gonna be staying. This is their ultra relaxing room, which technically I guess is Emiliano's parents' old bedroom, but obviously considering they're the only ones staying here, they'll be staying in this room. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's really, really relaxing. We also have these, um, you know, things that open out over here so we can come and like see out here, the rocks of Sulani. This is the, uh, this is their ensuite technically. Um, it is uh, like absolutely beautiful. We can come and we can get in the bath together maybe. And we also have a set of double showers over here. Look at this, stunning, love that. And the ground floor is probably one of my favorites. In this room over here, this is just the living room. We've got an area where we can, um, you know, set up the fireplace. We can also do a little bit of uh, watching TV if we just want to sit and chill for the evening. You know, if we just want to, um, just want to do a little, do a little reading and stuff. We can also sit in here. Um, then we've also got another bathroom. This bathroom looks very similar to the one upstairs, except this one has the most incredible view outside of the sea. Like how incredible is that? Just to be able to look out and look over at the sea. Love that. Um, and then we've also got a bath and toilet in here, you know, the usual. And then uh, we had the main courtyard. Let me let me go in through the main courtyard and get you guys uh, looking. Look how stunning the entrance is, by the way. Look at this. And then over here, we have a microphone um, for in case we want like an entertainer to come over and we want to sit and watch the entertainer because there's like a little fireplace over here with some music. We've also got a barbecue over here. And um, we also have um, a, an easel as well. So if we want to sit and do a little bit of painting, you know, maybe if Neve wants to dabble into um, doing some painting over here, she can. So we've got an easel over here as well. And then the most beautiful part of the, um, of the, what do you call it, of the villa, we have out here where we can come and sit in Sun Lounge. And we also have a pool, which is also the sea. So that is absolutely stunning. There's also some chairs that you can sit on at the side. They should get married here. Imagine though. Oh, most importantly for Neve, the kitchen, as you guys know, Neve is a, she's a, she's a big lover of a kitchen. And this is the kitchen that she's going to be able to work in while they're staying. Obviously they can hire a caterer while they're here, you know, somebody to wait on them. But honestly, I feel like Neve would be quite happy to make most of the food while they're here. So yeah, she's um, she's gonna be doing a little bit of cooking out here um, whilst we're here, I think it'd be nice. And then if we go through this door here, we go into the hallway. This is the dining room. This is where we are gonna be eating our uh, breakfast and lunches and dinners in here when we're not actually out at any restaurants. It is stunning, I love this. I love all the chairs um, over the edge as well. 
and that's it that is that is the uh that's the villa tour that's you guys have met, seen all of the rooms so far so that is uh what it's looking like <laughs> all right let's have them come on in are they like getting all excited oh my god look at them they're already getting the flirts on <laughs> she's already got a glass of champagne ready can we just <laughs> oh my god look at them getting all excited ready to go oh emiliano is gonna grill some chicken skewers okay well emiliano is gonna work on the food then let's get neve in she's already getting ready she's already sipping some bevies um in the meantime i'll have her go and do a little bit of sunbathing in her swimwear while emiliano works on these chicken skewers <laughs> watch him set the entire villa on fire in about two seconds all right, go and um, actually don't wear this outfit. Don't wear this one because this one gives you the worst tan marks. Yeah, I'm not settling for them weird tan marks again. <laughs> there you go. Put some sunburn protection on. Okay, let's come over and talk to Emiliano a little bit. He is looking mighty fine, by the way. And I'm going to go and give him a little flirt since they're finally away. She still wants to get engaged. He wants to, he wants to flirt with her back. So I'm going to have him go flirt. How amazing is this? As a Christmas Eve, this is where you are. I'm jealous. I'm going to have him compliment her appearance and how good she looks in her new swimsuit. Can we play some music? <gasps> Carnival Beats. Island Radio. Let's get Island Radio on. Oh, can we do some slow dance with each other? This would be so cute. Oh, look at her bobbing her head. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, guys. Hold on. Hold on a second. Are you prepping for the wedding or something? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> okay, just go through the wall. Define. <laughs> okay, maybe we should just normally slow dance. Let's let's slow dance intimately. Okay, that's better. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. I love them. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're like actually respectfully looking though. Oh, I love these guys. They are so cute. Um, I kind of want them to sunbathe in the nude. Can we have them both sunbathe in the nude? Let's do it. No tan marks because no one's, you know, who cares? I mean, this is their own villa. If anybody looks in, it's their own problem anyway. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, make sure we apply more sunburn protection because I'm sure you didn't apply any protection to those areas. <laughs> Imagine somebody like South Pass. It's going to be so awkward. <laughs> All right, we've done a few hours of sunbathing. Let's go ahead and get up. Oh my God. Emiliano really, really tans well, huh? Oh, look at Neve. Like she gets like no tan. Emiliano goes so dark. Actually, he's got, okay, are we, are we like, oh, okay. This is definitely leading on to something. Um, This is definitely leading on to something a little bit more, I'm guessing. I'm going to have them agree to stop using protection if that is a, an option for them um because i want them to start trying for a baby so i'm gonna see if he is gonna he, well, he's gonna ask neve if she's okay with potentially um stopping using protection and then we're gonna go upstairs and do a little do a little something <laughs> yeah okay they're no longer using protection amazing Go try for a pregnancy, guys, because the sexual chemistry here is, um, it can be cut with a knife. Another set of twins or triplets? No, no, thank you. I am, I am, I'm fine. I am fine. Why is this not working, guys? Let's try again. Wait, did they say no? Oh my God, they've asked so many times that they've got bored. No, don't let this. No, 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 no. Okay, do you want to do it in the shower instead? <laughs> it could be the fact that it's actually his parents' bed that maybe is killing the vibe a little bit. Anyways, we are going to go to the uh, beach cinema over here. Um, We're going to bring Neve with us. Um, We actually have a really, really cute little cinema where we can come and sit and watch some movies together. I thought this would be really cute. All right, come on in. Let's go Um, wait for the mixologist to turn up. In the meantime we will go and find a spot to sit at let's do let's do some beers let's get some beers oh my god guys i leave you for one second and you're already macking on each other really come and get yourself a drink and then neve go drink your beer there you go and then let's go sit down together 
Okay, come and sit down with your beer. Okay, then we're going to start the movie. Um, and we are going to watch A Lost Dog's Journey Home with Emiliano. We really don't need to stand this close, right, guys? Can we just go sit back here? Like, this is really cute and everything, but, like, can we sit down? They have bad eyesight. Is that why they're so close? Oh, I kind of want to go and light the fire and go sit with each other, though. All right, and then why don't we sit and then we can uh, roast. Oh, can we roast stuff? Where's the marshmallow? Wait, what does he want to do? He still wants to get engaged to Neve. We're going to be doing that um, tomorrow in the game, though. He wants to chat with uh, Neve a little bit more. I'll have him chat with her then. Expresses admiration for her. Is the mixologist finally here? Oh, yeah, they are. Um, we should probably not get any more drinks, to be honest. Neve's already drunk. We're, we're fine. Are you peeing in this bush? Okay, we're just going to pretend that nobody sees anything. No one sees anything, okay, guys? <laughs> no one sees... Who's this guy? Who is this guy already chatting up Neve? Like, Emiliano leaves for about 1.2 seconds, and this guy's already chatting her up. You've got to be kidding me. I love how she gets up. <laughs> she gets up and walks away. Oh, are they are they slow dancing? They just randomly start doing it. Why is she always naked when they slow dance, though? <laughs> They're so cute. I love this so much. I'm going to go send them home now, or back to the um, back to the villa. And then we are going to go upstairs, and um, we're going to, you know, <laughs> you guys know what I mean? Baby making time. <laughs> okay, so I need to fix this bed. Because for some reason, it is not working. Okay, let's see if they can try for pregnancy now. Okay, right. Now we're going to try for a pregnancy. Okay, we can finally do it, guys. We're finally breaking this, honestly, this horrible, horrible tension we've had like the entire day. We have been waiting for this for so long. Here we go. They're trying for pregnancy. They've agreed to not use any protection. So if she does end up getting pregnant, then um, she won't be unhappy about it. Manifesting one cute singular kid. Yes, thank you. Someone can. <laughs> All right. Um, are they already going to sleep? I wanted them to like have a cute little cuddle. All right. You need to go have a bath. And then Emiliano is going to go have a shower. Trying for a baby. Nia would love to have a child and is hyped to be trying for a pregnancy. <gasps> She's so excited. Oh my God. I love that. Pleasantly satisfied from good woohooing. What did she think of the woohoo? So that was good woohooing too. Okay, they enjoyed their woohoo, guys. Um, I might actually have them just go to sleep now because we have plans for tomorrow, guys. Lots and lots and lots of plans. All right, she's getting a little peckish, so I'm going to have her come downstairs. Let's go uh, get some breakfast. We will make... Oof, let's do pancakes. Pancakes on holiday is amazing. <gasps> Avocado toast with salmon. Sorry, we're making those. We're making that. That is beautiful. Also, do not drink... She keeps trying to drink the bloody wine. There's no way. She's already hung over and she's trying to drink the wine. What if you're pregnant? What if you're pregnant and you're just like sipping wine as if it means nothing? She really is on holiday. Well, somebody did say that they're drunk 80% of the time they're on holiday. And I honestly think Neve's like very much um, the same. <laughs> that looks amazing, Neve. Oh my goodness. Okay, put it here and then call um, Emiliano to the meal. Oh my god, he wants to express his devotion to a beloved sim. He is the cutest thing ever. Stop. Oh, we're gonna go. Oh, we're actually gonna go sit in here. <gasps> oh my goodness, guys. Can we talk about how yummy that looks? Look at that salmon with avocado on toast. Stop. That looks so good. Are you gonna come sit next to her? Yeah, he is. That's so cute. Okay, well, since he had the one when he woke up to express his devotion to Neve, I'm gonna have him do it when he comes to sit down and eat. Um, and eat breakfast with her okay and then we're going to uh affection express your devotion to her he is just so precious i love him so much honestly <laughs> oh look at them stop i love them so much okay what else does he want to do now he wants to try for a baby with neve he wants to try for a baby again okay can we do it in like maybe we just like say that we're gonna go in the hot tub today okay first of all um i wanted to hire a yoga instructor because I want them to do a yoga routine um, or learn how to do a little bit of yoga. Okay, come up here. And then now can you hire a yoga instructor? Here you go. <laughs> now we can come and get in the hot tub. 
I'm still looking out for this yoga instructor. If we see a yoga instructor coming on up, it'll be really awkward because I am going to have them, like, do a little bit of, you know, do a little bit of uh, woohooing. Go. Um, canoodle? Wait, wait, hold on. What's canoodle? I need to know what this is. Go canoodle with her. Oh, okay, this is canoodle. Okay, flirt. Physical intimacy. Attempt to get respectfully closer. Cuddle from behind. What is this? This is so cute. Hold on. What's going on here? Why did we have to get out of the... Why did we have to get out to do this? <laughs> okay. Why don't we go in there and woohoo? Let's go do a bit of woohoo. Okay. Uh, I feel like I should not be this close to watching this. Okay, we need to go and um, we need to go and get ourselves ready because we are going out tonight. We are going out. Emilio has a little little something planned, so I'm gonna have him go and get himself ready. They are playing mermaids in the hot tub. Yeah, just mermaids. That's all. Okay, everyone, come grab, you, come get yourselves ready. Come quick. All right, you go use the toilet and then um, come and take a quick shower. Right, get into some nice clothes. Let's go into your hot weather wheel. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go travel and we are going to a really, really nice place that Emiliano has um, planned and got himself a reservation at. And we are going to the beach bar and restaurant over here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's come on inside. To be honest, both of them are like a little hungry. So I'm going to have them go and um, go and get a reservation. Okay, now we can come and request the table. Where is Neve? Oh, she's just like sitting, waiting. Okay. <gasps> Look at her, guys. I can't. Look at our baby. Oh, she's so cute. Uh -huh. Right, let's go um, grab ourselves some food. Table, dorm. Over here. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's go order for the table. <gasps> Look at these views. Oh, oh my yeah, goodness. It's stunning. <gasps> okay. We're going to go for sex on the beaches for both of them. Sorry. And then we're going to go for Maine. And I'm going to grab the seafood chowder for Neve and the lobster roll for Emiliano. I'm going to have him be enticing with her. And then I'll have him compliment her appearance and talk about how incredible she looks. And then camera... Take photo with Neve. Oh my God, don't do this to me. Oh my God. Oh, look at him. Him kissing her on the cheek. I love these guys so much. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there's our food. Lovely, thank you Clea for the food. Beautiful. Actually coming in in like a decent amount of time. <gasps> Imagine, guys, this is Christmas right now. Imagine being here for Christmas. Oh my God, it looks amazing. And Neva's, uh, Neva's learned how to make seafood chowder. Oh, this is useful actually. Can I have her say like, thank you for like the entire holiday and like treating her and taking her places. I feel like she would just be very, very grateful for it. So I want to make sure that she says thank you for it. Okay, right. Can we finish up drinking our drinks? Can we finish this up? Because I've got something planned and I need to get it while it's like the sunset. Because this is perfect. This is, look at this perfect backdrop. One thing that you guys might um, not know about Emiliano is actually he's a really, really good guitarist. He's actually level eight of the guitar skill. And he has never, ever played the guitar in front of Neve or even really mentioned that he's any good at um, guitar. So he is going to whip out a guitar that he's had as a surprise and he is going to serenade Neve, which obviously is gonna lead into something, but it's very important. <laughs> Here we go. He's gonna serenade her. Let me see it. This is so cute. <laughs> I love that. Look at her, she's like, oh my God, I didn't know you could play the guitar. <laughs>
Okay. Oh my god, look at him giving her a cheesy little smile. I love this. Oh my god, he wants to tell his mum. <gasps> he already wants to tell his mum because he knows what he's got planned. Okay. Guys, it is officially time. He did his very, very cute serenade. And now he is going to ask Neve O'Brien to marry him. Here we go. Is she going to say yes? <gasps> she said yes! Oh my god, look at that! Inspector that big old diamond. Yes! They're so cute! Oh, they're finally engaged! That's so cute! What an actually good proposal. That's so nice. Oh, oh stop! Oh no, I need to see this! Oh, so cute! Apparently... Apparently somebody thinks it's a spectacle. Sorry, this is a proposal and a sentimental moment and you're just sitting here stalking. Oh, our oh, baby. I love it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and give her some affection. I wanted to give her a, a rose, but I don't know if we could do that. And then I wanted them to do a little bit of slow dancing. I know they've done, a, I know they've done quite a lot of slow dancing, but I think it's nice for them to do. <laughs> All right, so music, I'm gonna turn on and we are gonna play some uh, classical or romance. Let's do romance music. Okay, here we go. Romance, couple dance. <laughs> Look at them. I love how they're doing it right in front of everyone. <laughs> the woman behind. <laughs> Actually, Granny is throwing it back. <laughs> they said it's a performance. Why does it go so well with the music, though? Why are they like the most perfect couple ever? They're actually living out their Bridgerton dreams, right? <laughs> Ballroom dance lead. Dance to the beat of your dreams. They're so cute. <laughs> they had a rough start, but they're so wholesome now. I know. Um, sorry, did the yoga instructor just turn up now? You've got to be kidding me. Really? No, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> we're going to bloody bed. <laughs> and also we're trying for pregnancy again tonight as well. Just to make sure that we're definitely pregnant by the time we come back. <gasps> These sims are engaged to be wed. Save the day. Oh, they're so excited. Oh, I love them so much. They're so cute. All right, let's go and um, do a little bit of woohoo and then we'll end the night here to uh, consummate the engagement, guys. <laughs> okay, I will have her go and take a pregnancy test just for you guys. Let's go. Since she's been trying for a baby, it does make sense that she would be testing. There is a high chance that she is not. Here we go. If she is shocked, there's a bye-bye in there. <laughs> Oh, she's not pregnant. Even after all those times? They've woohooed like every single day on this trip. Uh, there might be something wrong with her fertility, guys. I mean, she did have twins. When we get home, since she's like had tried so many times for a child and she hasn't got one, we will have her, um, we'll have her go to the doctors and see what's up with her fertility. So at least we know that it's just we're being unlucky and not that she's actually infertile because there might be the case where since she's had the babies that she now can't have any more babies. Oh, look at her cuddling up to Emiliano in the bed. That's so cute, sorry. That is sad at the end though, but I'm not gonna let her put a downer on the whole stream and the engagement because honestly, it was really cute. But anyways, I'm gonna have to go ahead and leave the stream off here. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. So if you guys did enjoy today's YouTube video, remember to go ahead and leave a like. Hit the subscribe button below if you are new and you're notified every single time I upload a video. Um, and you can go and check out my other videos on the channel as well. I've got loads of mods and CC videos if you want to go check those out and other YouTube series as well. And yeah, I love you guys and I will speak to you in the next video. Bye guys.